Hola, hello, hi, hello, beautiful. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I have a little bit of a different video that I am nervous about and also excited about. So uh, yeah, let, let me know how you feel about this video in the comments down below. But today I'm gonna be setting up my habit tracker for the month of December. I've seen these habit tracker half sheets in store for the longest and I never really like felt the need to pick them up maybe because they're a little bit older they have that old school happy planner vibe they're very bright you can tell they're very like productivity oriented and i don't know i've just never really paid too much attention to them but recently i just kept on eyeing them and then finally i went and picked up these habit tracker sheets because i've been trying to be better about habit tracking and establishing habits i felt like i was really good at it for a bit and then i just kind of like got too comfortable i think and then suddenly my habits were like nowhere to be seen so i'm trying to be very very serious about habit habit tracking in these next few months I played around with one this month. I picked up these sheets like kind of halfway through November and I've just been kind of playing with it so far. I just used this side of the habit tracker sheet and the three habits I really wanted to establish were meditating for at least two minutes, walking my dogs for at least 30 minutes, and then waking up from anywhere between 6 and 6.30 a.m. And any time that I accomplish that goal, I'll use my clean color dot marker to just mark it out there. And then I didn't use the back of this because I didn't really have any idea of like how I wanted to use it. But I've been thinking about it. And so I'm going to be setting up my little habit tracker half sheet. And what I, how I use this or how I like store it is I'll just like transfer it every single week. So I've just been transferring this as the weeks go by i just transfer it to the next spread and i just tuck it in here in between you know my spread so i'm going to be starting this one for the uh, month of december and actually i just set up my december divider it's so 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 cute and my december monthly and so this habit tracker sheet is going to be tucked into here so let's set this up I'm going to start off by using my unique alpha fonts sticker book to write out December here at the top. I think that would be fun. And I'm trying to be fun with my habit tracker. Like I, I'm trying not to just, you know, like have it be this throwaway piece of paper. Like I really want to work hard to make it decorative and pretty and that way I'm going to be, you know, inspired and motivated and I'll want to like look at my habit trackers. So let's use these sticker letters to write out December at the top. Beautiful, I love it. And I wonder if I'll be able to fit like some cute December icons from my sticker pack here, like a candy cane. Maybe, do you think I can fit it in the corner here? Like just tuck, ah, I just ripped that candy cane. Do you, do you see me go beast mode? Cute, and then maybe like a gingerbread man, like right here, like right there. Cute, very, very cute. And then a little piece of holly here. Okay, there we go. Adorable, I love it. I think that's all I can fit on here, honestly. So I'll just set this to the side. Ah, this is like my pack of um, seasonal winter stickers. I rip out every single like Christmas and winter sticker that I have in all of my other Happy Planner sticker books and just like keep them like all together in this pile here. Okay, I think I'm gonna write out the habits. I don't think I'm gonna sticker them. So, okay, the habits that I want to keep track of, I kind of want to do the exact same three that I kept track of in November just because I didn't really like do a full 30 days with them. I just did like 15 days with them because I started halfway through the month. So those were meditating at least two minutes, walking my dogs at least 30 minutes, and then also waking up from 6 to 6.30 in the morning. I think I'll reverse the order though. That way things are a little bit different. 
and I think it would be fun to use Tombow markers to kind of like use as like a highlight. Um, so I'll use them to just color this right here. I love these markers, they're just so pretty. And I'll just color with these so that way, it just it gives that little extra pizzazz. And then let me grab my Staedtler pigment liner. And then I'll just write out, wake up 6 to 6.30. There we go, I wrote everything out. I totally forgot that I was gonna write like more than 30 minutes up here. So I just added it down here. And then maybe what I'll do is I will coordinate the color that I use to highlight each box as the color I'll use to fill in the circles. Like I used purple up here and then I'll use purple to color in the circles. I used orange here. I'll use orange to color in the circles and then I'll use pink down here. I love it so far. It looks really, really cute. I'm very happy with it. So that is the front side all done, very simple. And then we're gonna go to the back side. And I think over here, I'm thinking of potentially using these as places to journal about why I want to maintain those habits, what my goal is for those habits, and also if I have any challenges pertaining to maintaining that habit, I'll journal a little bit down here. Let me grab my pen case here and I will use, um, I'll just use a jelly roll pen here to um, write out like, why do I want to wake up early? And I remembered I had these like little meditation stickers in my Happy Goals sticker book. So I'm going to pop one here. And let me see if I can find any other stickers so that I can use for those other goals. I think my wellness sticker book will have some good stickers I can pull for. Let's see. I think there is like... um like a sunburst sticker up here. Yeah, I can use this one. It says time to shine. I'll put that, I'll put this right, I'll put this right here. Time to shine. And then I have some pet stickers from the pet sticker book. Let's see, these aren't pet stickers. These are my pet stickers. Um, Actually, I think I might have better pet stickers in like my sticker graveyard, I call this. This is like the huge sticker book that I have um, that I just like pop in stickers that I just have like a few left um, from like sticker pages. So I could use one of those walk the dog stickers. I might have like a pug sticker floating around here. Um, for my birthday a few years back, some coworkers got me some pug stickers and it was like a pack of like 50 pug stickers. And so I used up a lot of them, but I think I have a few floating around. So this is one, this one's cute. <laughs> it's a toilet sticker. I kind of want to put this one here because I don't want to cover the two. So that one's so cute. This is actually a perfect sticker for that habit. And let me let me see if I can zoom in on this habit tracker. There we go. Okay, so why do I want to wake up early? Um, I'm just going to put some thoughts down. Not feel rushed. I don't want to feel rushed in the morning. I love having time to prepare myself for the day, not feel rushed. Um, I want to sync up with my circadian rhythm. It's very well known that like early morning is a great time for thinking clearly and action because that's when you feel the most awake and alert. It's just like the natural cycles of the body. So I want to sync up with my circadian rhythm and not feel rushed. And I want to increase my focus. I really want to like take advantage of those early morning hours and just, just get some good focus time in. So increase focus. Habit number two, why do I want to walk the dogs at least 30 minutes? Um, I just, because I love them and I want to take care of them, take care of my babies. 
dogs really need a lot of exercise. They have a lot of energy, especially if they're younger. And they deserve to get a nice long walk-in. I do have a big house and a big backyard, so they're not cramped. I used to live in an apartment and I had to take my dog out like every single day, at least twice a day to go to the bathroom, but also to get some, you know, a workout in or just some movement in. And I just want to take care of my dogs, you know, like they deserve to go out. They deserve to get some movement into their day. And as a pet owner, you're responsible for that. You're responsible for their like well-being. There's people in my neighborhood that they don't walk their dogs at all. You can tell that they just have them in their backyard and they're always just like barking through the fence and I never see them get walked and it's so sad. And it's crazy because these are larger dogs. I feel like my pugs don't need as much exercise as a larger dog. Dog, but I still give them a lot of exercise and a lot of walking. So it's wild to me when people have larger dogs and don't walk them at least a few miles a day. Walking the dogs is also good for me, um, for me to increase my movement. It's a good way to kind of get warmed up. And it's also important for them to go out for their potty break. My older pug, Bugs, he's eight years old, eight and a half now. And he's very good about not going indoors. But I just got a new pug puppy, Daisy. She's a little over a year and she still has a little bit of trouble um, remembering to, you know, hold it until we're outside. I mean, the backyard has like a doggy door so they can go in and out. And she's pretty good about making sure to go out, to go pee and poo. But sometimes she she gets too excited. She's still very much a puppy and she'll, she'll you know, drop a little poo or a little pee indoors. And so as long as I'm proactive about making sure I'm ticking them out um, you know in the morning and in the afternoon there have been no accidents but it is so annoying when they pee and poo inside because I have to clean all that up and so this is perfect for the little pug going into the toilet okay third goal why do I want to meditate at least two minutes every day um, for my mental health it's so important to meditate it's so important I cannot stress how important it is to meditate especially for myself who I feel like I engage with abstract thought every day. I'm a postdoctoral research scientist and the majority of my work is bioinformatic, it's computational, I'm sitting in front of a screen thinking about coding and I feel like my brain kind of overheats at times because I'm just like problem solving and critically thinking in this like abstract realm all day and so it's very very important for me to just quiet like the chatter of my mind my mind is always going it's always just running around in circles and it's so important to like take a pause and make sure your mind is resting and so i'm gonna put also increase focus and improve mood it definitely helps with both of those things I feel like journaling about why I want to, you know, maintain a habit or build a habit is going to help me to work towards making it happen. So if I see this tucked into my happy planner and then I see the reasons for why I want to do these habits, I feel like this is going to like really motivate me. So that's why I'm doing this. Okay, I have this idea for this section here, this grid section. I'm thinking of making this be like my overall monthly habit report. Let me grab a mild liner and I'm going to write that. I'm going to write habit statistics. So in this grid section, I'm very excited for what I'm going to do. I'm thinking of, for each habit, establishing like an ideal goal. Like my ideal goal for habit one, which is waking up 6 to 6.30. So I'm just going to like scribble that down there. Um, so number two is walk dogs at least 30 minutes and then meditate at least two minutes. I'm gonna establish an ideal goal for each of these. So my ideal goal, waking up six to 6.30, if I do this 80% of the time, then I'm going to give myself a prize. So goal, prize. 
And the prize is gonna be a Happy Planner sticker book. Of course, I'm trying not to buy um, sticker books anymore because I have just so many sticker books, but I do want to like buy one here and there and I'm gonna try to make them prizes for myself now. Like I still want to buy them, but I kind of want to feel like I earned them in some way. And so my goal is to achieve 80% of waking up 6 to 6.30 and my prize is a happy planner sticker book. Walking the dogs at least 30 minutes every day. If I achieve 95%, I am going to award myself a new workout outfit. And even though I say new, I'll probably go thrifting. Like. 99% of my clothes is thrifted. I have like an amazing thrift store um, near me and they always have like the best clothes. And so I am going to go over there and buy myself a new workout outfit. Well, a thrifted workout outfit if I manage to achieve a 95% of my habit. And then meditate, I think I'm also gonna do 80%. If I'm able to meditate 80% of the time, so 80% of the 31 days in December, I'm going to give myself two new essential oils. And I think I'm gonna give myself like a space to write down what I actually achieve. So this box here is gonna serve as my actual achievement. I'll just put equals and then box and then if I manage to achieve that goal I will go ahead and put like a check mark if and if I'm not able to achieve my goal I will like put an x here like if I achieve this I'll put like a, an arrow pointing to this and a check mark and a happy face and if I don't then I'm just gonna put like a big x there. So I'm a huge believer of the carrot system. So we all know about like the proverb or like the parable, I guess, of the donkey, the carrot and the stick. Like you want the donkey to do something, you have to offer it a carrot and also put a stick behind it. And honestly, like I don't want to give myself a stick. I do want to give myself a carrot. So we have here my carrots, my prizes, if I manage to achieve these goals. I have my reasoning for why I want to achieve these habits and then I have the habits that I want to work on and I'm very very excited to get into this habit tracker. I think it looks super super cute. I love it. All right everyone, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye!